Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on the prismatic right angle weave mega necklace and that goes with the mega bangle that I recently posted on YouTube. So here it is. It's it's the same prismatic right angle weave. I've changed the beads here to a in the middle uh, as an accent to Miyuki drop beads, the fringe beads, they're 3.4 millimeter, and I did a little increase here and then a decrease. So if you want to learn how to do a little increase and decrease, very simple, looks pretty this way, gives it a little more oomph in the middle, maybe. This little um, bezel, I just wanted to show you what you can do with this and how you can play with it. I thought of putting it on here, um, several people suggested putting something in here, so there's a lot to play with with this necklace. So you will you can have a lot of fun, but let's just get the necklace going, and um, you know, then you can just let your creativity go. All right, so I'll clear the decks, so then come on back and we'll get a materials list going. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so let's get a materials list going. So you're going to need some 3 millimeter round beads. That's this one here. This is a jade pearl. This is a white pearl. However, because it is a very long necklace and you're going to need quite a few of your three millimeters. I just wanted to get, I looked up some prices for other three millimeter beads, uh, specifically the three millimeter Druck bead, which is a really nice round bead like the pearl and it's a very beautiful bead. Uh, so I looked online and the pearl, the pearls, I think for about 200 pearls, it's about nine to ten dollars average you have to look for discounts because a lot of times you will find a discount. So I'd say you're probably going to be anywhere from, you know, the cheapest maybe in the sevens, seven ninety five, seven something to uh, up to ten dollars for two hundred. You need about three hundred for this eighteen and a half, nineteen inch necklace. Um, it's five beads around, whereas the the bracelet was six beads around, so you're not using as many beads as um, you would if you made it six beads around. So the necklace, the bracelet's a little chunkier. All right, so I, I found that's what I found online for the pearls. Now I buy the pearls in these factory packs, so I get really good prices. But if you don't buy the factory packs and you just want to get the you know about the right amount for the necklace, then you know go online and check it out. But anywhere I'd say from seven something to ten dollars. If you go look at Druck, three millimeter Druck beads, they're very reasonable. So you can get, let's see, so at Eureka Crystals, I looked online, they have silver, turquoise, and white. Those are the only three I looked at. A hundred pieces are anywhere from the white is $1.35, and the silver is $1.60, and the turquoise was $1.75. Now, depending on the finish, I suppose that it's going to change a little bit price-wise, but that's for a hundred. So quite a difference in price for the pearls and the drug beads. It just depends on the look you're going for. I happen to have the pearls and I, you know, I think they're really pretty, but I think these drug beads have beautiful finishes and I think um, I'm going to try these. I'm going to start ordering three millimeter drug beads. So that's sort of the difference between the two. Art Beads had a jet drug, drug bead for $1.25 for hundred. So take a look and see what you can find. Like if, you know, when you look at Swarovski and it's like, oh, this is just way too expensive, there are other beads that you can use for this. So check those out. All right, you're gonna need some Miyuki 3.4 millimeter fringe drops. And I'm using hematite here. I just want a tra contrast going for when I'm, you know, showing you how to do this that you, so you can see what I'm doing. And I think it would be pretty. I have some two millimeter drugs, and I'm using the nickel silver, and I love these beads. Um, I've I spoke a bit about them in the last in the bangle video. How I think these are a great addition to, you know, your bead stash. I think they're wonderful little accent beads. I have some four millimeter pearls here, and I just use four four millimeter pearls, two at each end. I put the clasp on in sort of a wonky way. I just, you know, sometimes I I I, I get a little. Um, you know, like, I don't know, how do I do that end when it's so thick like that? So I kind of figured this out. So you can do the end any way you like. I just um, embellished a toggle and loop with this four millimeter bead because it happened to fit the loop of this um, of this particular toggle. And the, I think it came out great. So I'm very happy the way that ends. You can end it any way you like, but I'm just going to show you the materials for the way I did it. So here's the toggle, toggle and the loop. A little stop bead. I'm using... Uh, a, Fireline uh, black satin. 
eight pound. This works great. You, you, this this fire line works great for the necklace. You don't really need the Nozu Sunoco for the necklace. The fire line is a little has got a little more substance to it, so it's good for a necklace. I love the Nozu Sunoco for the bangle because it it has a little give. You don't have to worry about that with the necklace. And I'm using a size 11 beading needle. I have a little stop bead going on here. So that's just about what you're going to need to do this whole thing. So gather up your materials and we'll get started making this necklace. All right, seeing a few. Okay, we're back. So before we start, I just want to give you a little, uh, little info on construction, how we're going to do this. We're going to do this part first, the pearls, or your three millimeter first. We're going to transition to the, the drop beads, which uh, is going to require an increase. We're going to come just do this part. We're going to decrease to get back to the same size um, around as this side is. And then we're going to do this side. Then these pieces we're going to we're going to add on separately with the clasp. So, uh, or you don't even need to put these on if you don't want to. But so this is how we're going to start. We're so starting at one end and working all the way down. All right. I'm going to put this aside. Thread a needle with about five feet of fire line, or as much as you can handle. Uh, you're going to have to add thread. I put on a stop bead. Just leave enough of a tail to sew in because we are doing the, the um, ends separately. Pick up five of your three millimeter beads, and I'm going to pull them really tight just for the base of this, so you, it's easy to do. I'm going to make that into a circle. And I'm sorry, I have to pull out a teeny bit because I, my camera is complaining. I'm just going to make it into a circle by sewing through all the beads again. If I can get through, just come through all the beads. You can do one at a time. And pull, just like that. Come on past your stop bead and tail thread. So this is what you're going to have. I'm going to come past another one till I'm sort of on the opposite side a little bit, just to get that tail thread out of my way. This is what you have. If you end up like this, just flip it. You want to make sure you're coming straight up out of the top of the bead. Pick up a two millimeter, a three, and a two. This is just like the bracelet. If you've made the bracelet coming out of here, come through this one. Just like that. Advance your needle through the next bead. Pick up a two and a three. Coming out of here, come through this two and this three. Just like that. And if you notice, what we're doing is we're just building walls up from these center pearls here. So if I hold them up, that's how, you see how I'm building a wall? Or this way, see that's how I'm building a wall. Pick up a two and a three. Coming out of, whoops, let's advance one. Now pick up your two and your three. Like that. Coming out of here. To this one. Advance. To the next three millimeter. Just like that. Pick up a two. And a three, coming out of here, just come back through the two and through the three. Just doing little right angle weave units. And we're just doing them kind of flat, that's all. Okay, just like that. I'll hold it like that so you can really see it. Now we have four beads on. So if I just push the walls up, see that? And I hold it like this, I'm going to come through this one. Need one more bead. Come through this one. Pick up a pearl or a three millimeter. Come through this one. Come up the side.
curl. Come through the top. Just like that. Rotate your piece towards you. Come through this pearl right here. Okay, and now we have all our beads on, but they're not connected, so you want to disconnect them. So just to come out of here, just come through all the beads. So I'm just going to sew through every one of the pearls that I just put on. All right, so here I go. This is what you have. You've got this little, you just make, you've made a right angle weave tube instead of cube. That's really all uh, prismatic is. You've used more than four beads, so we've made sort of this little, little um, tube. So get that done and meet me back here and we'll continue. All right, see you in a few. So now that you have your little base done, this is really easy at this point. So you're going to take a two a th millimeter, a three millimeter, and a two. Coming out of here, just come around, just like that. Rotate the piece towards you. Come up the next bead. Pick up a two and a three. Just like cubic right angle weave, you're coming out of here. Come through this one, through the side bead. Rotate, come through the next bead. Pick up a two and a three. Come through this one. Through this one. Rotate, come through this one. Pick up a two and a three. Coming out of here, and through this one. Come up through the side bead. Rotate. Come through the next bead. Just like that. Now you just need one pearl right here. Just needle through the top two millimeter, like that. Pick up a pearl. Come through this one. Come through the side bead. Come through the top. Rotate, come through this one. That puts you on the outside where all your beads are. Sew them together by coming through all the beads. So I've just come through all the beads and you know you've come through them all because you'll have a little thread connecting all the beads. And you could even come past where you started, just like that, just to connect everybody nicely. And that's the whole thing. This is what you're going to do all the way down. Okay, so just keep doing that until you get your length done of the three millimeters, and then meet me back here, and we'll start our transition to the drop beads. All right, seen a few. All right, we're back for a minute because I want to show you how to add thread. So here I've, I've gotten my a piece, a section done, and I've run out of thread. So here's where my working thread was coming out of, right there. So I'm just going to thread a needle with, you know, a, a good amount of fire line, and I'm going to put on a stop bead and leave a just enough of a tail to sew in. I'm just, this is how I add thread on just about every project I ever do. I go back a few beads. So before I even do that, you want your new thread to come out of the same spot as your working thread. So here's my working thread, my previous thread. So I want my new thread to come out of here. 
So I'm just going to come up, I'm just going to choose a place, coming up through this bead, and that stop bead is going to hold my thread on. So I don't have to worry about just pulling my thread through. So now I'm just going to work my way around these units, just going in the same thread path, you know, that I've sewn in. You don't want to change the thread path. Okay, your thread caught. There you go. So here, in order for me to get there, I just have to keep going around these right angle weave units. So here I'm coming out of the pearl. I'm going to go through the two millimeter. Then I'm going to come up through the pearl. And now my new thread is coming out of the same thread as my old thread. I've got a stop bead holding on my holding my new thread on, so I don't have to worry about this thread um, coming through. I can leave this here and sew it in any time I want. I'll have to sew in the old thread too, so I just hold those aside. This is what I do. And then I just pick up my, you know, my beads and I start beading. So here I am. I have a new thread here, so I'm just picking up my two millimeter, three millimeter, two, and I'm gonna start beading again. And then I just you just keep going on. And that's that's how I add thread on everything. It's just the easiest way to add it, as far as I'm concerned. And um you can just go on with your project or you can stop and sew it at any time. All right, so I hope that helps you, those of you who need a little uh, primer and adding thread. All right, see you in a few. Okay, we're back. So I, I'm done with my length here and I want to add, start adding the drops. So this is where we're going, where we're going to increase. So I've switched my drops to these blue drops because the hematite drops were just not working out. You really couldn't see it. I must have filmed it six times. <laughs> I still couldn't see it. All right, so we're just going to do the same thing, only use drop beads, and we're going to increase at the end, and I'll show you that. So two millimeter drop, two millimeter, coming out of here, come around. So you're just putting a drop on just as though it was the three millimeter. The only thing is you just really want to make sure those drops don't fall down. Because if they fall down and you go through the next row, you're never going to get them out. So you always want to look at it and make sure you have an open tube there. So we have our first drop on. Come through the next bead. Pick up a two millimeter and a drop. Come through this one. Come through this one. Just like that. Rotate the piece towards you. Come through the next bead. Let's make sure they're kind of popping out a little bit. Pick up a two and a drop. Come through this one, just like we've been doing. Nothing has really changed yet. Just like that. Another one on. Rotate. Two and a drop. Through this one. And this one. I'm just doing two at a time. Okay, so now I have four on. I'm going to come through this one and this one. And normally if I was just doing the five beads like I was previously, I'd put one bead on. I'm just going to increase increase it by one. I'm going to put two drops on. Come through here. Just like that. Come through this one. Come through this one. just want to get through the one. Just like you would just with the um, three millimeters. Just like that. Rotate. And do you see how that drop fell in? Make sure he's out. You want to connect all the drops now. So you're just going through them like you did the pearl. So now we have six beads on. So I'm just going just through all the drops. They have pretty big holes, so you can go through this a couple of times. Just like that. Okay, so get that done and then meet me back here and we'll continue. So this is exactly what it should look like. All right, see you in a few. Okay, we're back and here I am. I've finished reinforcing the round and I want to start adding more beads, but I, I want you to go past the, t the increase here when you start adding your next round. Just easy to do this. So don't start it here. Just go past these two. Oh, that looks good just like that. So here I am. So I'm starting it on through one of the other beads, not where I did my increase. 
So pick up a two, a drop, and a two. Coming out of the top of this drop, come around the drop. So it's ex as I said before, it's the exact same thing, only you're using these drop beads. And they are a little bit finicky, uh, but I like the look. Come through the next drop. And just make sure that your beads aren't flopping in, because if they flop in at this point and you secure the next round, you're not going to get them out. So <laughs> pick up a, a two millimeter. It's a little challenging. And a drop. Come through this one. And the drop. Just like that. I'm always looking to see, to make sure nothing's dropped in the middle there. Advance through your next drop bead. Pick up a two and a drop. Come through this one. And this one. Just like that. Looks good. Advance through the next drop. Pick up a two. And a drop. Come through this one and this one. So we're doing the exact same thing. I think this, um, I don't know, did I mention this before that I think it would look great with Magatamas? I probably did. Sometimes you do so many takes that I don't know which one <laughs> which one I, I um, set it in. All right, so here we're coming to the two here. Just come through one. Pick up a two and a drop. Come through this one. And of course, just here, I'll do these one at a time. This one. Let's see how that popped in. And just this one. Just to secure it. Okay. And now I want you to make sure that these drops are all sticking out. Go through the next bead, just like normal. So here we have five on, so we're putting number six on. So you came through this one, come through the two millimeter, pick up a drop, come through this one, come through this one, come through this one. So we're just doing the same thing that we've done. We've just added an extra bead on. Now sew your drops together. Okay, so we're just connecting all the drops just like that. Now you can just really, you can go through twice if you want or you can just um, go through once. But do you see how I don't, none of my beads have fallen in. I've got my nice little circle of six. And then now you're just going to continue on like that until you have your center portion done. I have 13 uh, uh, rounds of the drops here. And then meet me back here and we're going to decrease to get the other side on. All right, see you in a few. You're back. So I'm just going to do, you know, just I have five rows here. And on my third one, things kind of straightened out nicely. So it's really when they're open like this that they're in danger of flopping in. But they worked out pretty well. I hope that worked out, and I hope that you didn't get too frustrated with that. Actually liking these blue drops. Look how pretty it looks with the bracelet that I made a few days ago. So that was a happy accident. <laughs> so let's decrease now. So pick up a uh, two millimeter, a pearl, and a two millimeter. Remember, you're going to be doing 13, or I guess whatever number you want, rows. So coming out of a drop, just come around. So now we're just getting back to our same stitch, just make sure your drops don't fall in. Come up through the next drop. Pick up a two and a pearl or your round three millimeter. Come through this one and this one. I mean the drops give it real cool like dimension. It's hard to see on camera, but they really I really love them. Come through this one. Pick up a two. And a three. Just keep going. Just like that. Pick up a two and a three. Come on around. Just like that. Okay, so I have four beads on. I only want one more bead. So here are two. Just gonna go through both. 
of the drops, come through this one. So I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just, um, it's like knit two together. <laughs> so I'm just beading two together. Come through this one. It's like that. Come through the two drops. And be careful that doesn't fall in. It's a real, real danger of falling in here. Come through that top bead. Now sew all your pearls on, or sew them together, connect them, making sure none of your drops have fallen in. I'm going to come around a couple of times just to make sure this is nice and secure. Okay, so here we go. We have our next we have our round, our five beads on now, so we've decreased, and now we're just going to continue. Two millimeter, millimeter, three millimeter, two. To the next one, rotate. Go through the next bead. Two millimeter, three millimeter. Your next. Go through the next bead. Two millimeter. Three millimeter. The next one. My little kitty has been walking around on my mat. A two and a three. Just like that. So this one. Now we're just going to close it up. This one, pick up a pearl. So these two. That one. Sew all your beads together. And now you're back down to having five pearls. So this is how your increase looks. You really it's pretty much invisible. You really can't see it. And it, you know, and it I just think it looks really pretty. So there you go. So continue on to your um next side and get all of those done. And you can even go on at this point because we've already learned how to do this. You can just add if you want to do this part, you can add the drops at the end. So you're not going to increase any, you're just going to put them on like you put on your regular beads. And then so get that part done too. If you want, you know, put as many as you want on here. I have about, I have four rounds on. It's about an, a little, about three quarters of an inch. And then I'll show you how to do the attach the clasp. So get those, get your, the, the second half done, your ends done, uh, and then meet me back here and we'll put on the clasp. All right, see you in a few. All right, so let's get the one end of the toggle clasp on. So I didn't, I don't have my full end on, but this is where you're going to end if you're putting the drop beads on. So it doesn't really matter which bead you're coming out of. I'm just coming out of one of the drops. I'm going to pick up a two millimeter, a three or a four. I think a three millimeter is going to fit better with this loop, but you want to just make sure it's big enough to cover it. Just like that. And I'm going to add a th the three and a two, just like that. So I'm coming out of one of my beads. So here's the here's the area I'm coming out of, the, the side I'm coming out of. I'm just going to come around on the other side and come down. So I'm coming out of this one. I'm just coming around, coming through the one on the other side, just like that. So it, this is how it pops on. Now it's not going to stay right now. They're not going to stay um, on either side of the loop, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just come around. Just like that. I'm going to reinforce all the way around, actually. I don't really, I didn't write this down, so I'm sort of winging it, but I think I'm pretty sure this is what I did. <laughs> all right, so here I am coming around. I'm going to hold it in there. 
It's a little, you know, clumsy, but I'm going to hold it in there. Now I'm going to come through the 2 millimeter and the pearl, like that. And don't worry, it will tighten up. And then we're going to come down the pearl and the 2 millimeter on the other side. At this point, I'm going to try to get those to stay. Not going to stay until you tie it in. So just hold it the best you, as best you can. Come through the beads again. So I'm coming around just like that. Now it's starting to get a little more snug. I'm going to come through, and you can do that again. It's a heavy necklace, so you want to. Make sure you, you're nice and you know strong here. It's, the clasp is nice and strong. There. Coming around this one. So I'm just going around and around just to reinforce it. And, and then I'm going up through the toggle. And then just work your way around one more time. It's getting very tight now. I mean, not the beads, the... Um, the pearls around here are not going to come out now. So you want to just at this point give it a nice tight, you know, pull. So if I tighten here, and I'm just going to grab a thread from underneath and tie a half hitch knot there. I'm going to pull that knot into the beads and here now you have the the end on and that works out pretty well so it's not going anywhere we're not going to lose those beads and it's nice and you know it's it moves so that you know it's it it you can it will conform to your neck all right so get that done and then we'll get the other side done all right seeing a few okay we're back so i'm going to add the, the toggle bar on the other end so here i added the loop on right here you know as though i had this end so i'm going to just do it on the pearl end just why because why not all right so i'm Coming out of one of my my pearls here, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna put on my needle three two millimeters a pearl. I'm using a three millimeter in this case because this loop on this toggle, toggle bar is a little smaller than my original necklace, so I think a three will fit. Another three millimeter pearl and three more of my two millimeter beads. So this is what it looks like. That's what I have on my needle. Coming out of here, right here, I'm going to come through, actually I'm going to come through this one. So coming out of here, I'm coming around, just, I'm just, I'm not sewing through anything, I'm just coming around to come through this bead right there. Okay, and then when I put that on, it leaves this big sort of circular, terrible looking thing. So. First, not before I do anything with it, I'm just going to sew through the next couple of pearls, just like that, till I get to where my my beads are. I'm going to come up through two of these beads, just like that. This is what I have. I'm just going to come over to the other side. Come down to on the other side, just like that. See how that pulls them together? I'm going to come through the pearl, just like that. I'm going to give that a nice pull so it um, the thread tightens up. I'm going to work my way around all the pearls on the bottom. Just like that, and I've come back to the side. Now you're not going to be your pearls aren't going to be tight around that loop yet. Just like with the other side, we're going to have to go up there and tighten it. So here I'm coming out of a pearl. I'm going to make a turn through this guy, these two guys. I'm going to come up through the three mil, two two millimeter through the pearl. Through the loop and the pearl on the other side. Down 
down through the two. It's getting a little tighter through these two. Just like that. I have to work my way around again. Just like that. I want to see how tight this is and see if they're all right, they're not going to move. I was going to add a thread across this part, but it seems like this is fine without it. I did it on the other necklace, the other necklace, but this one is not moving. So I think at this point we can grab a thread. Tie up half inch knot. Continue around the pearls. And you get the picture. So you can do that as many times as you want um, as far as, you know, as securing it. You can go up through the pearls again, such. So this is what it's going to look like when I turn it around. This is how it looks. It's nice and neat. Fits nicely. There you go. So get that done and then meet me back here and we'll look at our beauties. All right, seeing a few. Okay, so here it is. So here's the necklace. Here's their little um, sort of Frankenstein necklace. Came out, you know, everything came out great. Just needs to be a little longer. Um, here are the bangles. Just in case you haven't seen the bangles, go to the. I'll pop up a link for the bangles, and I'll put it in the description box below the video in case you want to make the bangle. Here's the necklace. I just think it's so pretty. Um, I'm going to wear this one. <laughs> very soon, as soon as the weather gets warmer. All right, so thank you for joining me, and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.